Hello YouTube, welcome back after a great WWDC. So in this video, I'm going to show how to install iOS 15 on supported devices. And specifically, I'm going to show it on iPhone 6S and the first generation iPhone SE. So which still rock the A9 chip and two gigs of RAM. So let's see how it runs. The special part is both the phones are assembled in India. So that's a great thing for me at least. And now let's see how it performs with the iOS 15. And first, let's see how to install it. So first you need to go to ibeta.me. So in this website, you'll get the beta profiles. So from there, you can download it right on your device. So you, know, you don't need a computer for that. So if you go to that uh, link and it's in Chinese, so uh, you obviously you get a pop-up. So once you click on OK, so I have already installed it. So if you go into your settings app, then you can check out the profile there. So here it will appear. So let me show it to you. Like I have another phone where I'm gonna install. So right now I'm installing it on my iPad mini 4. So that video will be coming up tomorrow. So that's also again a great thing. The iPad mini 4 still rocks a A8 chip, again with the two gigs of RAM. So the uh, iPhone 6 doesn't get it, but the iPad mini 4 and the iPad 5, the fifth gen, it gets it. So as you can see here right now, so in the settings app, I got the profiles. So once I get my password, so let me type in my password. So once after that, you'll see the terms and conditions. So you gotta accept that, uh, I think some glitch there, okay. So let me retype my password there. And so I'm gonna click on install. So once after this, it will ask you to restart your device. So you got to do that. And it should be back up in uh, quite some time. So it's restarting it. And let's wait till it boots up. So here we are. So we have the beta profile installed. So right now we'll go into the software update section in the settings. So it's as simple as you update your phone normally. So just go to the software update section. So as now, like a lot of people would be downloading and installing it, the servers might be busy, so it might take a while to come up. So let's try again. Okay, here it is. So here on my iPhone SE first gen, it's around four gigs. So obviously you need um, uh, a free space of around six to, yeah, six gigabytes to install. So uh, bear that in mind. And another fact is all your apps and data, it uh, it would remain on the phone so you don't need to worry about it but it's always a better idea to back up important stuff so right now I have uh, iOS 15 running on my iPhone 6s and compared to the SC so as you can see on the sides there is a lot of space so it's kind of rounded off edges and uh, kind of fluidic I, I would say the moment here so as you can notice it's kind of fluidic and coming to the notification center or the control center. So here we have the focus app. So I, I'm pretty much impressed with this. So let's click on home button. So let's dive deep into that in, in just a minute. And another suggestion is that this beta profile, so it's better to have it on your secondary device. So if you're using your device for work or a primary device, so if something happens, it's it's better to put it in your secondary device, I would say. And coming to Photos app, so there is uh, quite a bit of improvements here. So as you can see, the, uh, uh, yeah, I could notice some eye icon on the bottom. So it shows the information about the photo, where it came from, its location, if you're taking it on your phone and such details. And I guess you get the text detection. Uh, I'm not getting here, I don't know why. So I need to explore it more. So maybe with the iPad video, I can show you how this works. Or is that something limited to the old devices? I guess the old devices doesn't get that option. I'm not pretty much sure. So let me, I need to explore this on. Okay, so right now let me go to settings. And here we have the focus. So this is uh, one of the uh, application which uh, influences you to have uh, reduced notifications and focus on what you're working on. So if you're working or if you're 
spending some time with your family or if you're uh, going to sleep so all these things it uh, automatically or uh, uh, with the um, apps or with the people you contact during that particular time so it magically it uh, uh, gets up that and also the applications that you use in the specific time so you can select which app to use and you can allow those particular applications at that particular profiles if you're selected so which is a great thing and also you can integrate it with the health app for sleeping so if you're sleeping and you don't want to get uh, annoying notifications so you can set the timer here so i guess these things are it was there at the ios 14 but the profiles one so with the work or you can even create your own profile and you can create your own set of applications to use at that particular time and no other um, things would disturb you so yeah these animations look cool so i would say the focus is a great feature so it helps you stay in the moment when you need to concentrate or to step away and choose a focus that allows only the notifications that you want you can get your work done while you are in the zone or enjoy a distraction free dinner so you can uh, customize these settings according to your personal preferences so for work uh, during work if you want to just uh, get access to your colleagues and your family members you can do that and notifications you can turn off from your whatsapp or facebook or any other things that would distract you from work so you can do that or if you have outlook or teams you can enable those notifications alone so which would make a uh, great sense and so you can delete uh, the focus things that you set and you can also create a custom focus and uh, so even the calls so you can enable calls from only your favorites or everyone or you can create a group again there so that's a great thing so now the most thought of feature so initially when the WWDC began they started with the face time so let's see what are the advancements that we got here so as you can see there are multiple options missing with uh, older devices so you don't have a spatial audio support for the 6s or the se so you get the screen sharing option over there but even that is grayed out i don't know why so maybe it's enabled over the 6s let's try that out so the screen share option, I guess that's not working now. So maybe it's the beta one issue or with the older devices, it doesn't support. So we had to find out uh, later in the time. I think the share play again, that won't be supported with these devices. So yeah, so that you need to keep in mind. And another great improvement that we saw is with the weather app. So it's got a cool new animations over here. So let me change to my city, it's my Suru. So here you can see the uh, it's uh, kind of rainy. No, I think it's still cloudy here. It's not at raining. OK, fine. Yeah, so uh, you can see all the UV index. The air quality is pretty good over here. So with the lockdown, again, it again improves the air quality. OK, so next what we have. So um, yeah, so the Find My App, is there any improvements over there? So I can see it's still the same. So if you've got the AirPod Pro or AirPod Max, you can find with the Find My App now. So that's a great thing. And the Safari, the Safari got a brilliant new change. So as you can see, uh, with the uh, bigger devices, so it, it's uh, pretty hard to reach out to the top of the device to type your um, your URL. So it's it's. Uh, pretty much easier so if it is at the bottom with these kind of uh, devices so as you can see the tabs so that is separated and you get a full screen view of safari so again safari has been uh, got a complete overhaul with all the devices with ipad with the mac so if you go to landscape your address bar it comes to the normal position so you can reach out here pretty much well so that's a great thing and you have multiple tabs and group tabs and also support for uh, your uh, widgets. So yeah, and coming to the performance. So I have run the Geekbench score here. So as you can see, the performance is actually on par with what we have with the previous uh, iOS 14. So there is not much change here. So there is slight difference maybe with the beta version. So as improved, so 
and also with the usage of device i didn't feel any lag or any um, uh, ram issues so i've been using it since yesterday night till today morning so there is no lag or uh, there is uh, no issues with the, even with the first developer beta so that's a great thing so ios 15 on these old devices it just runs butterfly smooth i would say and it would be even better with the uh, latest devices so as you saw i think uh, these are the details that you get with the images that you taken and also the location you get so where it is clicked so which is a great thing and let me open some other app so which app has got okay so this uh, there is a new app called this magnify i don't know why uh, maybe yeah so you can magnify some of the things so it's got uh, this is actually a digital zoom over here so if you have something like the um, iphone 10 or above with the telephoto lens or the zoom lens so it can make a great use of that and so what apps yeah health app so that's got uh, i think like there was a section with in wwc where they uh, spoke about this health section so pretty um, much uh, changes so health sharing so you can share it with your parents your uh, younger one so you can keep track of their health and uh, there is also something called uh, your steps it will track your step your steadiness your walking steadiness and uh, quite a lot of features so i guess there would be some separate video for that and coming to notes i think like in iphone there is no much changes but if you go to the ipad so you got some quick notes on safari and uh, those kind of features so let me go into wallet app so i guess uh, the uh, country where i am in so the wallet app that uh, it's not used to its full potential i would say so there is something like a driving license or even the passports coming to that so which is a great thing so maybe we can expect in maybe in coming years or something so in camera app, there is absolutely no change coming to the music app so music app again it looks the same here so they said uh, it got uh, Dolby Atmos and lossless audio. So that's coming. Uh, so it's a feature that is rolling out. And uh, as you can see right now, it's not there. And again, like the previous devices, the iPhone 6s or the first gen SE, they don't support this lossless audio or the Dolby Atmos or even the spatial audio. So that's a bummer. But yeah, it's fine with the device, which is uh, quite around five, five years old and yeah uh, all the applications it work fine so with even with the beta so if you're using whatsapp or facebook or youtube so all the applications it's working fine so there is no issue with that and the widget so one of the uh, great concern that we have was the widgets so they are not interactive so it still remains the same with uh, every device i would say so it's the same widgets that we got with ios 14 so it's not still intractable so which is a bummer, but fine. And coming to, now coming to the Maps application, which I guess most of you are still using Google Maps. So that's a great thing. And it has support over multiple places on the geography. So that's a good thing. But app Maps have got a new update. So there is street view and there's a globe view. I don't see that globe here i don't know why maybe it's not supported on this device or maybe it's not enabled now i don't know okay so it has these options called driving transit so that's uh, gonna be uh, quite useful so if you live in the places where it supports it so right now here uh, i need to check uh, so it's a lockdown over here so i can't go now and uh, drive out so maybe uh, later on we can check out that feature so let me uh, find the place which is at bengaluru and i guess that doesn't show the location properly okay so again like apple maps it's not yet optimized for uh, the smaller places in uh, over here so that's a thing that you need to keep in mind and with the app store is there any advancements let us see i guess there is nothing much so yeah i'm also installing the mac os 12 the monterey and yeah so that's all i had with the with this update so it's still a great update with the five-year-old device and like tomorrow we can see with the a8 ipad mini 4 running ios 15 so till then thank you for watching 
and stay safe and peace.